Hey, this is Steven Weigel. I uh, wanted to upload this to YouTube to show you guys kind of what I ran today. I ran mono white and I got took fourth. Uh, I lost top four to Alex Blandin because they messed up. And I lost top, or I lost third and fourth to Ryan Miles again because I messed up. Uh, but they were both like really close games. You can ask them, they'll, they'll say that they were close because they were really close. Uh, and I lost to Alex in time. It was like kind of sucky, but um, a lot of people really wanted to see my deck, so I figured I'd put it out there. Um, oh, here it is. Um, so I'm running Lumia and 20, 20 white stones. And that's gonna be the stone and ruler. I'm running four souls. That's the reason for the mono white stone. He's basically a Gretel for mono white. Um, and the object is to basically summon him, get the stone, and then flicker him every turn that you can. Um, I'm running Shining Strike to rest and Bunnies to rest. So basically, ideal if, you, if you're going second, you can soul for your energized token and your mana. Uh, get your second stone, tap, play Bunny or this card to rest him. So that's your, your second mana, and now you can flicker him at the end of turn, and you're gonna have three stones turn one. And then you can still Shining Strike on your opponent's turn for defense. So that's your ideal turn one play. You're gonna have three stones turn one. I would say on average, turn two, I was getting five or six stones from my, my, my stun deck. Turn three, I was J activated, and still had six or seven stones, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so that's your soul and your resting card, Shining Strike and Rabbit. Um, aside from that, I ran the Percivals, um, and I ran Percivals were able to search through my Regalia. These are the Regalia I ran, but I'll explain these a little bit later why I used them. Um, they were able to search Bedivere. These are the Percival targets, were the four Laves, four Apollo, and three Bedivere. Bedivere was really good because the format is it's a Gwyber heavy format, and again, you can summon Bedivere rest it with one of these two cards, kill their Gwyber, and then flicker kill their Titania, kill their Gwyber, their second one, because Feasting likes to double Gwyber a lot. Um, <laughs> there was games where I was even able to play this, uh, send it back with Apollo, play again, rest it, and then flicker it to kill three of their Gwybers, which is uh, really, really helpful. Uh, most times they were stuck uh, Apolloing their Gwyber back or something like that. So that's why I ran these. This is a very, very good card. Um, and even uh, Ryan Miles was playing this, and it, it I don't play Gwyber that much, but it, it hurt my deck a lot too. Um, next card was obviously Gwyber because you have um, all the one drop guys. You have Percival and the Bunny, but uh, it really doesn't matter if they're one drops or not because you're ramping a lot of mana anyway. But the Gwybers are just there for the pushing, and they do a really, really good job of pushing. Next is like probably the best card in the deck. It's Lumia. Uh, if you control the Lumia ruler, instead of getting one card from her play, you can put three cards under her. It's essentially drawing three cards every time you play her. So I would play her, and I would get like an Apollo and like a Percival and a Rabbit or something. So I play Percival, I play Rabbit, and then I, I send her back with Apollo for two more mana. I'll play her again, and now I'll get like a Gwyber and like some other stuff, a Gwyber and a Lave or something like that. So now I can start playing stuff for one mana, like one mana Gwybers, one mana whatever. And it's only like four or five mana, and I don't usually pair it to like turn three. And by the time by that time I'll have six or seven mana out already. Um, there was turns where, uh, when, when I lost against Alex, uh, when I lost, my next card was Apollo, and it didn't matter because we, we were in time, but if I had one more turn, because I, I was at, still at 4,000, if I had one more turn, I played Lumia, and he, we, we played it out, and what we saw what my field could be. My ending field from draw, top decking one Lumia was two Lumias, two Percivals, three Wyvers, uh, I think two Laves and Apollo, and I still had, um, uh, what was the last card? Oh, yeah, that's Tsukiyomi was the other card I had on the field. So, like, off of one card, I was able to basically cycle through nine or ten cards in my deck and just play them all out, which is pretty insane. Um, next are, we do the one drops, or the one ups. I ran one Tsukiyomi Noble, it's mostly, I thought it would be good against Feasting. It was okay against Feasting, uh, just for their Guinevere's. Uh, it definitely does okay against Lumia. And it did actually okay against Alasarius, which is what I was worried about. It does okay against Alasarius, like, early game, but that's about it. <laughs> um, the horn was really good for 
Uh, it was mostly for like sending stuff back because there were a lot of games where I almost decked myself out from drawing all my cards. Um, and even against Ryan, I almost decked myself out. I had two cards left, and he ended up winning in. Uh, no, he, he ended up winning because I, I misplayed. Um, and I didn't. I wasn't able to kill his Lumia. I thought I attacked his Lumia, but I attacked his Glorious by accident. Uh, the one Arthur, it was okay against uh, Fox, it's okay against Beasting, it's okay against um, Lumia. The only thing it dies to is Bear Magic, which is kind of a nuisance. Um, it's an okay card. Uh, Arla was a tech that I thought was okay. Um, it was okay. Uh, I didn't play that much. Um, if I change anything, I'd probably take this card out. Amaterasu was the other card. Uh, it was also just okay. Uh, you have enough mana to play it. It's very mana heavy, but you have enough mana to play it. So I would definitely like discard for 8-8, eight, eight, um, or even when it's in grave, it gives you another rest opportunity. But I didn't use that effect that often. Aside from that, the plus 8-8 eight, eight life helps a little bit. It helped me a little bit versus Alsarius, but that's a burn deck. Or I mean, it's, it has the capacity to burn, which is what helped me a little bit, but that's not that much. <laughs> um, because I'm running the 20 mono stones, Lave was actually the only way I'm able to J-activate. And I have to, uh, usually I, I try to keep all the ones I can in hand, if I have them. Uh, because if you play them from hand, and you hit them off of your uh, Lumia, they go underneath and you can't discard to J-activate anymore. So I would always keep them in hand in case I hit them under Lumia, so I could play them from Yumi Lumia, and then discard from hand. Because uh, if, like, if you play it, play it, and then your other uh, laves are stuck underneath there, it doesn't help. Like, uh, there was, in testing I had played one, and I Lumia hit two. So now I have to look for the one other lave in my deck. Where if I, if I kept this in my hand, I could have played these two and then discard the last lave to uh, J activate. Uh, and you are running the horn, so you can you can J activate and give imperishable multiple times, unless they have death safe, of course. Um, aside from that, uh, the Apollos were a godsend. They're, they're what lets you uh, recycle through Lumias, recycle through Percivals to get back uh, these. Against Alex, I think I probably Apolloed six or seven times. Um, just because I was able to follow back Lumia, follow back Lumia, follow back Lumia, uh, horn all my Apollos back, Percival play, play Percival again, cycle back to Lumia, like, uh, it, it was able to do a lot. <coughs> uh, and that's just basically the main deck in this, in the stones. This is the side. Uh, I had two of these against Feasting and other, like, heavy summon decks. It, it hurts me a little bit, but actually I can... I can, I, I'm very swarm heavy, so I can pop the field and then swarm afterwards. Um, or I can J activate early and then, and then pop the field again. Because remember, when you do J activate, if you J activate and you have soul, um, so like if this is my turn one, like the, the soul play to get three stones, if that's my turn one, uh, turn two I can J activate and start attacking with Lumia Swiftness and proccing my soul. So I'm still proccing and still getting mana. It's better, it's like a better version of Kane. Um, and I still have very little resonator, so that's against that. Tsuki animals, uh, they didn't come that much in handy. They came, they were okay against Elsarius, they were okay against Feasting, against Lumia. It's just if you knew the extra ones. <laughs> this was a really good card. I saw a lot of people running this today, um, including Zach Tufford, and um, there's a couple other people. My top eight opponent played it. Um, the Elsarius plays it. It was a lot, of, a lot of really interesting decks played it. I like this a lot. Is really because really, you get it under Lumia and now you can just start flashing it whenever, which is really nice. And you can recycle it too with through uh, uh, bow <coughs> or uh, sorry, horn. Uh, the second Arthur was good against just the same decks I mentioned before. Two death size in case you find like Valentina or a Lumia, like maybe it was mostly against Valentina. I was kind of scared. Same thing, Glorious against Valentina. I was a little scared. Uh, Magic Sweets was for mostly Fox and for like Dark Alice and stuff like that. Um, death size is okay against like Val 3. Dark Alice, maybe, if you like, are trying to get the late game stuff. Uh, this was the stop chance <coughs> of uh, Dark Alice, so they couldn't uh, use their stealth combo on my turn. They could, I only had to use it on their, on their turn. So if they're forced to use it on their turn, um, I can then better bear their, um, what is it called, Melders? Their Melders are the 10-10s. Kill that. Uh, and then one Kaguya. This is again was against, uh, for Valentina, because it allows this card to rest J rulers. Uh, if I own, if I control Kaguya. So now these can rest J rulers, and then these can also rest J rulers. So I have eight cards that just rest J rulers, and uh, Valentina kind of just dies. Um, which is kind of cool. This is what I got for topping if anyone cares, but um, 
We got fourth. But yeah, that's about it. Um, uh, I'm actually planning on. <laughs> I, I'm starting my own team. It's gonna be based off of it in uh, AZ. Um, we're gonna post information about that soon, maybe within the week. Um, but I want to get this uploaded video so you guys can see it, and then I'll give you more details about what I'm doing for my team um, afterward. But sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Bye.